The homosexual agenda is destroying this nation. Okay, it's just a fact. Not everybody's lifestyle is evil, just like not all religions are evil. You know, the very fact that I'm talking to you like this here today puts me in jeopardy. Okay, uh, and I'm, I'm not anti, I'm not gay bashing, but according to God's word, that is not the right kind of lifestyle. It has deadly consequences for those people involved in it. They have more suicides, uh, and they're more, more discouraged, there's more illness, their uh, lifespans are shorter. You know, it, it's, it's not a lifestyle that is good for this nation. As a matter of fact, studies show that no society that has totally embraced homosexuality has lasted more than, you know, a few decades. So it, it's the death knell in this country. I honestly think it's the biggest threat, even that our nation has, even more so than terrorism or Islam, which I think is a big threat. Okay, because what's happening now? They're going after uh, in, in schools two-year-olds. You know why they're trying to get early childhood education? They want to get our young children into the government schools so they can indoctrinate them. I taught school for close to 20 years, and we're not teaching facts and knowledge anymore, folks. We're teaching indoctrination. Okay, and they're going after our young children as young as two years of age to try to teach them that the homo homosexual lifestyle is an acceptable lifestyle. You know, gays are infiltrating city councils. Did you know Eureka Springs? Anybody been there to the Passion Play? Okay, have you heard that the city council of Eureka Springs is now controlled by gays? Okay, there are some others: uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Tacoma, uh, Maryland, Kensington, Maryland. In Vermont, Oregon, West Palm Beach, Florida, and a lot of other places in Florida, what's happening? And they are winning elections. One of the things I deal with in our legislature, I tried to introduce a bill last year that would notify parents. Uh, schools had to let parents know what clubs their students were involved in. And the reason I did that bill primarily was this. We have the Gay Straight Alliance coming into our schools. Kids are getting involved in these groups. Their lives are being ruined. Their parents don't know about it. So I introduced a bill that says you have to notify all clubs and things. And one of my colleagues said, you know, we don't have a gay problem in my community, so that's why I voted against that bill. Well, you know what? To me, that is so dumb. If you've got cancer or something in your little toe, do you say, well, you know, I'm just going to forget about it because the rest of you's fine. It spreads. Okay? And this stuff is it's deadly and it's spreading and it will destroy... Uh, our young people, it will destroy this nation. 